salt comes from three sources, salt mines, land that at one time was seabed, and from oceans and saltwater lakes. Factories extract salt from water by evaporation, either mechanically or naturally, by letting the sun work its magic and produce what's called solar salt. This large hunk of salt crystals comes from Great Salt Lake in Utah. At full water level, the lake is seven times saltier than the ocean. Harvesters scoop up salt from shallow crystallization ponds and load it into trucks. It's the end result of a two-year evaporation cycle, which has seen the lake water, called brine, slowly give off its moisture in a series of concentrating ponds. What remains is a bed of salt crystals about 12 inches deep. The truck dumps its cargo onto the factory's conveyor system. First stop is a rinsing station to remove contaminants such as algae and dust. Using fresh water would dissolve the salt, so they flush the crystals with lake brine. Next, hot air dryers remove the moisture and salt dust within about three and a half minutes. The salt crystals then roll across a series of sorting screens with progressively smaller openings. This classifies the salt crystals into three grades, coarse, medium, and fine. Each grade goes onto a separate conveyor that transports it to a designated storage bin. The factory uses medium-grade salt to make pellets for water softening equipment. This press compresses the crystals into pellet shapes, along with certain additives to help the water softening equipment perform better. Some municipal water supplies have a high mineral content. This hard water makes soap difficult to lather and leaves stains on sinks, bathtubs, and toilets. Salt triggers a chemical reaction that dissolves the problem minerals. The factory packages water softening solar salt in bags as well. It also produces a variety of other solar salt products, such as swimming pool salt, road salt for melting ice in the winter, and of course, culinary salt. The factory's automated packaging equipment fills both paper and plastic bags. This company also sells solar salt to several industries for use as an ingredient in products such as detergent. There's also the agricultural market. Farmers buy blocks of solar salt plain or enriched with minerals as a nutrient for their cattle. The factory produces different salt and mineral formulations, each dyed a different color for easy identification. To produce salt for cattle, the machinery drops 50 pounds at a time into a block-shaped mold. A press applies 750 tons of pressure binding the crystals into a block. The farmer simply sets out blocks among the cattle and the animals lick away to get their dose of sodium. A label identifies the type of salt block. This one contains iodine to prevent a thyroid disorder called goiter. A tasty and therapeutic bovine snack, courtesy of a saltwater lake and sunshine.